back to my channel. My name is Valencia and you're watching Styling with V where we will focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, but my main focus is helping the invertical triangle with styling and hauling. If this is something that you're interested in too, please subscribe to my channel. And to my new subscribers, thank you for watching. On today's video, I want to talk about what is an invertical triangle, what are the characteristics of an invertical triangle, how to, st how to style an invertical triangle, and what are some celebrities that are invertical triangles. I'm gonna be popping up pictures of invertical triangle of celebrities, and I'm also gonna put, um, pop in a video of myself and with like just a tank top and some leggings on to show you what an invertical triangle look like on somebody who has a stomach. So, so you can know, so you can see if you're in vertical triangle like me. Also, I wanted to talk about celebrities who are in vertical triangle. Um, like Zendaya, um, you have Naomi Campbell. And their stylists know how to dress their bodies um, with adding volume to their lower half. And they have a more of an athletic build. But I also feel like Jill Scott is in vertical triangle. Be only be on the basis of because her shoulder is the widest thing on her body. And when she gains weight or she loses weight, it's hard to tell if she's in vertical triangle. But in my opinion, I feel like she's in vertical triangle, but she has curves like a pear. But your body type is based off your bone structure and not your weight. Okay, some of the characteristic of in vertical triangle is that our shoulders are wider than our hips. They're wider than our waist and our hips. We have little to big busts, no defined waist. Our bottom is flat. And if you're on the thinner version, you may have an athletic build. So the goal with styling an invertical triangle is to balance your bottom half with your top half because your shoulders are so wide by adding curves and volume to your lower half. Okay, we better get on to styling tops, but this is a PSA. You can dress however you wanna dress, but I just wanna give you some ideas, some pointers that work for me, but you can dress however you wanna dress. So the first thing we're gonna talk about, tops that looks flattering and the necklines that look flattering on our body. Um, deep and scoop necks look good on us. Um, petlums look good. Wrap tops look good on us. U and V necklines look good on us. But my favorite neckline is the asymmetrical neckline because it breaks up our shoulders vertically and it camouflages on how broad our shoulders really are. The next thing I want to get into is sleeves. For short sleeves, I feel like you need to have a fitted sleeve unless you're doing the puff sleeves which they say in vertical triangles shouldn't wear puff sleeves but i love puff sleeves and every time i try to get a puff sleeve it never works out until i finally found that see noel from target that one shoulder puff sleeves because it wasn't too over dramatic and it was asymmetrical with it cut my shoulders in half and another thing, you don't want a lot of detail like buttons and embellishments around your shoulder because it's going to point out how broad your shoulders are. And you will rather pick a thick strap over a thin strap with your tops too to camouflage your wide shoulders. And if you're going to do a long sleeve top, you want to have the long sleeve, you want to have exaggeration you won't have volume because when you put your hands down to the side it adds volumes to your lower half like your hips and that looks very cute you don't want a fitted long sleeve top because it's going to emphasize how wide your shoulders are okay, i want to get into jackets and coats and in vertical triangle this sometimes is very very hard to style like me i love all the crop jackets but styling crop jackets on my body is kind of hard because of where it hits me at 
and I have a midsection. So in order for me to wear a crop style jacket, I have to do like a wide leg jean, a wide leg pant, a wide leg trouser to balance it out with my top half because my shoulders are so wide. And another other jackets that look good right on good on us are belted blazers, belted jackets, um, single breasted blazers. I get my blazers from Express and I like the oversized and boyfriend style blazers, but I like my blazers more of a fitted blazer. So I go get the oversized and go down in a size. So then it fits me more tailored. And another thing, like with our blazers, sometimes we have to get blazers to fit our shoulders and then you have to just take it in to get it altered if that's the blazer that you want. And good ideas of where to get blazers, it's like Goodwill. You can go to get go to Goodwill and get blazers for like $10 and then just spend the money to get it altered and you'll always have those blazers. And next we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about bottoms. Bottoms that look flattering on us. My absolute favorite right now is cargo jeans. I like cargo jeans now because you can do a jogger style cargo jean. You can do a wide leg cargo jean and they look flattering on us. And another thing that I like about cargo jeans is because of the big pockets in the back. Because we're so flat, if you do pockets on the back, it looks like you got a little something back there when you camouflage in that too, baby. So I like wide leg jeans. I like the wide leg pants. I like the culottes, the palazzo pants. I like the flares and you can even do some boot cut, but some straight leg pants still show how narrow you was because they're more fitted in the hips and they don't really give you volume at the hips. And pants that you don't wanna wear are skinny leg jeans. And also, if you like color like I do, you can do a wide leg pant, pant with print and put it at your bottom. So then your top half looks more slimmer than your bottom half. And then you look more balanced with your body. Okay, now I wanna talk about shorts that are flattering on our body. And one of my favorite short is wide leg short trousers because they nip you in the waist and then they have wide leg so then they balance you out with your top half also you can do the jean shorts where you can roll it up that's flattering on us a pattern short or a pattern pants that always look flattering on us uh, pleats pleats can go good or bad sometimes too much pleats give you too much volume in your midsection but if you find the perfect pleat short you're winning i want to talk about jumpsuits that look flattering on the in vertical triangle which is a struggle because your top half is so broad especially if you got a big bust and then it doesn't align with your lower half because you're so narrow and you don't have a defined waist so for me, for jumpsuits, I would like a V-neck or a scoop neck jumpsuit and also belted jumpsuits because belted jumpsuits give you a waist, which we don't have a real defined waist. And you can do a wide leg jumpsuit. You can do a flared leg jumpsuit, but just don't do a skinny leg jumpsuit because it's going to show how unbalanced your body is. Well, you come to the end of the video and I want to thank you for watching this informative video. And I've, I've had a lot of questions on what is in a vertical triangle. And I want to just give you a heads up on how to determine what your body type is, what looks good on our body, what doesn't look good on our body. But just remember, all bodies are beautiful. And thank you. I love you guys.